and see you in there. Well, we're so happy to have you here for our last show of 1981. Ah! <laughs> Which was 40 years ago. Right. Oh, my bad. Our last show of 2021 of songs of roughly exactly 40 years ago. And who are we? Uh, we're the Clyde Scales. And we uh, have been uh, just super excited for this set. So excited. Because not only is there a lot of trivia we're not going to tell you, uh, we're just going to tell you to look at the show notes, but we're also going to play some great songs that have a weird central connection of contractions. Mm, they're about pregnancy? Yes, because in a theory they're birthing 1982. Oh, gotcha. But so, yeah, we also, break water, you know what? Right. Also, on. a contraction in grammar is when mm. you combine um, right. words. Yeah, because so, who has the time to have two separate words? Right. Yeah. No fan. Exactly. So. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just clearing so, my throat. Yep. And we have some special guests here. Uh, you might hear them right now. Uh, We're live from Clyde's Kennel. Yes. Oh, there's the cat. And we have a cat who's sharpening his claws. So there Everybody couldn't be really anything excited. better than a fun live stream to close out December. We're super excited, so let's just get right into it. Oh, okay. It. Yeah, let's just... Uh, okay, and this song, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, a uh, long-time uh, viewer and also even longer-time friend, Dixon Freeman, would be very familiar that I am a huge fan of this band. Uh, and uh, this song starts like this. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Clyde, Clyde, we don't have... But remember, we talked but, about we timed everything out. We realized that we couldn't. But that add came that out. That came out in October of '81 as a single. Yeah, look at your calendar. It's December. Mm. First off, it's not eligible. Second off, all the good songs from that album came out in '82. Okay, good point. All the good songs from that album did come out in '82. Uh, so, why not? I, and I'm, I'm sorry, you guys had to be part of that. that cool. Fine. We'll do the other song that Great. came out in late November with a video that came out in December. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Change it back to 
was. Oh, thank you. Wow, oh, there's an audience. Ducks can clap. Oh, my gosh. My goodness, ducks can clap. Well, <clears throat> that song, uh, obviously by the Human League. Oh, uh, yeah. And in China, they're known as the Hunan League, by the right. way. Right, yeah. exactly. Uh, interestingly, their band name uh, came from a 1970s sci-fi board game. Uh, and it was picked by a guy named Martin Ware, who at the time was in the Human League and then left to form Heaven 17. And if you go back to the March episode, yes, you all about that there. Uh, our fascist episode. Yes, our songs about fascism. So, <clears throat> our next song, well, what's to say about it? I, oh, you're just, looking to me to say more yeah, about yeah. this song? Should we just play it and then we can... Good idea. Yeah, yeah, that's just... Yeah. something that sounds an awful lot like Thriller 
by my yeah, it looks like Billy Jean driving through the bad part of Funky Town. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My bad, Billy Jean. But here's the thing. Uh, when Michael Jackson said to Daryl Hall, hey, I kind of stole your bass line. Hey, I kind of stole your bass line. Like that is how he said it. It's almost like being there. Hey, hi. I just kind of stole your phone. If you can pet bubbles. Hi, I stole your bass line. Anyway, Daryl Hall set the monkey aside and said, it's okay. <laughs> we all do it. We all steal from different places. Oh, I thought you all had sleepovers with children. We no, don't. we all steal we bass don't. line. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Anyway, namaste. Our third song tonight mm. comes to you by way of what used to be a thing back in the early days of recording, as in pre-1980s, called market segmentation. And I'm not going to get into it. Do you have a PowerPoint or something, sure. slide? And if you'll just look here and follow the pointer, you'll say to yourself, oh, I understand. <laughs> I'm a record executive, and I hear a song uh, that is doing incredibly well in, in another part of the territory. world. Yeah. Right. And so I say to myself, you know what? I'm going to farm that song out to someone else in another country because there's absolutely no way that someone in the United States would have heard a song. Right, because this was before radios and telepathy. Right, exactly. So probably someone, I'm like a virus, probably came over on the Concord. Anyway, this song... <clears throat> comes to us by way of a young Austrian rapper. Ooh, tell me more, tell me more. Go on. Check it out, Joe. All right, that was Edie Falco. 
Thank you. Yes, that was young Austrian rapper Falco uh, with his song that was not only taken by After the Fire, which you all might be familiar, but another industry executive said, you know who would also need a song like this? Laura Branigan mm-hmm. on her second album. So check out the song that sounds exactly like Dirk Commissar on Laura Branigan's second album. Interesting to do that. Right. Weird tie back to some of our callback things. Laura Branigan, sadly, has died. Oh, has she? Like, just during the last three songs? Oh, no, not during the last three songs. It was oh, a tragic okay. thing. It's very sad. Um, and, weirdly, also, Falco has also oh, passed. Dead? Yeah, he's dead. And the lead singer of After the Fire, not what? saying this song is cursed, but he's now very famous in the Christian ministry oh, songs. So she- Yes, basically. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we're at our last song. This is our final song, and we're very excited to have a special guest join us. She's going to join us and sing this last song. Everybody, please welcome Diana Bright. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> in typical fashion, while Dale gets set up, I'm going to run through some of the songs that you may have missed. Uh, from 1981 that we didn't play. In we memoriam. considered them. We didn't do them. It's our in memoriam. It's a judgment call. They all, they weren't all great calls. But I think yeah. overall, it was the right thing to do. In May, we did not do uh, Spellbound by Susie and the whoa, Banshees. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Also in May, we did not do uh, Kim Carnes, uh, Betty Davis Eyes. We tried it in rehearsal and I smoked a pack of cigarettes. Still couldn't make it happen. Uh, Also, we discarded from our repetition issue uh, episode, we discarded Pete Shelley's Homo Sapien. Classic song. Controversial take. Controversial take. Uh, And what else did we skip? Oh, a personal favorite of mine, Gary Wright, and also Cliff Richard had a wonderful song. Oh, Cliff Richard. They released during that time. The People's Poet. That's the color of orange juice. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, this last song we're going to play fast and loose with. It is a classic that actually came out in 1981. Around this time of the year, right? It's such a holiday song. Interestingly, and there couldn't be a better song to end our set of 1981 songs with than this classic. So here we go. Ready? Yeah. Okay. (sighs) Ding, 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 ding.
all of you that stuck with us as we explored 1981, its weird connections, and its chronological fascination. Yes. Please spend the remaining moments we have of this year reviewing our footage on YouTube or on sure. Facebook Live. Right. You owe it to yourselves to do that. If you go to YouTube and you search Clydesdales, you need to go about to the sixth page down uh, yeah, because the bulk of it is about horses. Horses, right. Uh, and please, if you want to subscribe, click here. And I don't mean online, but just right here. By literally the right there. We yeah. really appreciate everyone who has watched. We really appreciate yeah, most uh, everyone. Most everyone. And uh, thank you so much. We will see you later. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Yes, in the broadcast. <laughs> right, so I could take no. this mask off. <laughs> it's just so. <laughs> this human mask hurts so much.